Hi, Kim here from Keep Fit With Kim. Today I've got another walking workout for you. Please check around you, there's nothing you're going to hurt your feet on or bash yourself on. Marching to the beat. Try and keep those feet nice and light. And during the workout, don't worry if you're not quite to the beat. Don't worry if you're not in time with me or on the same foot. More important to keep yourself moving. Getting to the end of the track, getting to the end of the 15 minute workout. So pace yourself if you need to. Doesn't matter if your steps are really small if you're a beginner or if you leave the arms out. Turn to the side, let's march forward, two forward, two back. Actually, you could stay facing me for this bit, but we're gonna go into a four step in a moment. So probably easier just to turn slightly to the side. Forward, two, three, four, and back. Join me when you're ready. Well done. Try and keep the shoulders nice and relaxed, but swing the arms. And if you take the elbows up a little bit higher behind, you can work the back of the arms as well, but it's your workout and your body. Come back to face me. You might need to shuffle across if you're on a mat and you don't have a lot of space. Let's go in the other direction. No benefit, just makes it a bit more interesting to change direction. You get a different view of your room. I've got a nice view of the radiator here. Turning back to face me. Three, two, one, and attack. One, two, three. So adding a little push with the arms. Or not, your choice. Well done. Remember, we're trying to get to the end of the 15 minute workout. This is aimed at people who are less fit or beginners. So, or maybe you're slightly overweight. Whatever reason you're here, I hope you're enjoying my workouts. Let's kick it across. Well done. This is helping your balance. So if you're really struggling with this, just take the toe on the floor instead. But those of you that can, take that little swing across the body. the shoulders nice and relaxed keeping the knee slightly soft all the time go back to the march four three two and a tap slowly turning maybe moving to the back of your mat taking it forward and again keep moving through the gap well done let's take it to a side step to move slowly over towards the left of your mat so just make those steps a bit big one side smaller the other two steps well done so make that as small or as big as you need so I'm medium sort of size but if you want to really make it big you can add a little bit of a hop in the middle if you want to make it smaller keep it here Hold it here, let's tap the feet out to the side. Touching the toe out, just standing on one leg. Four, three, two, and change. One. Cross it a little bit. So bending the supporting leg if you want to, but you can just keep it small. And change. For four, three, two, and change. Four, three, two, and change. Two. Last time, we're going to go back to that double side step. Touch out for two. Take it back. Well done. 
So putting the two moves together, well done. So you want to work the back of the arms, lift the elbows up. If you don't, just let them swing and relax. So you can just let them swing across and stay here. Keep it smaller if you need to. A little hop if you want to make it a bit harder. Really up to you. I like to keep it low impact. Last one. Side to side. I'm going to change the arms here. Forward, back. So I'm going forward, touch the shoulders. Reaching right forward, touching the shoulders. If you need to make that smaller, that's fine. If you want to add a hop, you can. Last four, three, two, one, two steps. Touch out, back, two steps, two touches, whoa, two steps, two touch outs. Hold it here, touching out side to side, touching forward, back, forward. Well done. Last. Let the arms down if you need to. Last couple and double side step. If you need to make it small enough, if you're feeling a bit out of breath, that's fine. But if you don't need to, really put something into it now. Well done. Singles. Bringing the feet in together. Ankles should be comfortable. So if your ankles are beginning to hurt, really do make it smaller. Your ankles will get stronger the more you do this. And always, always, you can wear trainers if you prefer. Double step. And back. Well done. Right left. So the harder you lift, higher the lift the knees, the harder you're going to work. Try and keep those ankles and feet soft. Let's take it wide. So when you take it wide, you might want to turn your feet out a little bit. Be aware of how your ankles feel. To each side. Got my choo choo arms. Well done. So, really turning out the hip. Doesn't matter if it's only small. The higher you lift the knee, the harder you're going to work. Let's march it on the spot. Lift those knees high if you can. Well done. Take it wide. In for a count of four. That's four, three, two, and one. Two count, two in, two out, in and wide. In. Well done. So make it as small as you need to. If that's as much as you can manage, you're still moving, that's fine. But if you really can, you can make it with a little bit of a dip in the middle if you want to. Hold it here, march. Three, two, one, and a tap. Three. Or a knee lift if you prefer. Two. So 
take it single knee lifts and push down. So if that's too much, keep it as a toe tap. But if you can, I'm pushing down, pulling the elbows up at the back, really feeling that in the back of the arms. Four, three, two, and march. And I want you to pause, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Take it wide. And in. Take it wide, eight. In for four, three, two, out for four. Two, in for four, out for four. Well done. In for two, out for two, in. So you can make this as small as you want. Really finding it hard to switch between the two. If you're taking it wide, you can add a little gap in the middle, a little bend in the middle even. Well done. Just marching it through. And start to bring the body down, cool down a little bit. Bring the heels in front. So little heel digs. Stay facing me. I'm just turning so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm not doing really strong bicep curls now, I'm just letting the arms relax. Pause here, we're going to take the right leg out and in, out and in, out and in. Now if you want, you can bring a little knee lift up, take it out to the side. But if you don't, just bring it out and in, out and in, out and in. But keeping the arms low, really working that hip muscle again to help your balance. Let's change sides. If you didn't get that change over, that's not a problem. Just catch up when you're ready. Really doesn't matter if you're not on the same beat of the, of the music or if you're on the offbeat, fine. More important that you just get some work out for your body, improve your strength, improve your cardiovascular capacity. Couldn't say that one today, could I? Let's take it back to a toe tap together. Well done. Keep those arms nice and relaxed, but keep them moving. Try and really relax your shoulders. Taking the foot across now, toe tap across, and heel dig in front. You've done really well today. Take the toe taps out to the side. Again, arms are nice and relaxed. Shoulders at least. Just swinging the arms gently, elbows relaxed. Well done. Heel digs in front. Take that to toe taps. Now I'm going to change it slightly. Try and pull your belly in and not arch your back as you take the foot behind. So you might want to lean forward slightly. It makes it a little bit easier. Feel a little squeeze on your bottom and your bum. OK, you can tell I'm English. I use different words. I know a lot of you watching this are in the States. I'm going to use the terms I'm used to. <laughs> Take it out to the side. We're going to finish today's workout with a stretch. So taking the feet about hip width apart, I'm going to ask you to take your right foot back. I'm going to turn so you can see what I'm doing. Watch both feet are pointing forward. Knee is above the ankle, so we're not shooting it all the way forward. Nice big lunge position. Holding that there, turning the hips to face the front. Have a quick look back at that back heel. Watch it hasn't slipped in. You should be feeling it in the calf. Holding that there. 
hands on the thighs, well done. I'm going to ask you to lift and lower your heel a couple of times. It's just coming up onto the ball of the foot, taking it down, getting that foot back. Just check it's not slipped in again. You're feeling the stretch in the calf muscle. So just the foot until you feel that stretch where it's best for you. Well done. Let's change legs. Bring the legs in, about hip width apart for balance. A bit wider if you struggle with your balance. And again, watch the knee position. Knees are roughly above the ankle foot back far enough so your foot's on the floor. So you might be here to get the stretch, or you might have your foot a long way back, but keep that knee so you can see your toe. Check those feet are pointing forward. Hold a chair or wall if you need to. Nice straight line from the top of the head through to the heel. And try and turn those hips to face forward rather than letting that hip drop back. Well done. That's all for today. Bye for now.